Hello friends, Doug Fink, PowerShell guru. I want to talk more about PS DuckDB. DuckDB is a really cool low imprint on your box, highly sophisticated uh, database solution. And I want to talk to you about combining data or joining data and specifically about CSV files. Have you ever tried to have two CSV files, let's say customers and orders, and you had a common column like customer ID and you wanted to join those in PowerShell from the separate files? You have to go through a whole bunch of work to get that done. I'm going to show you how to do that really quick, really simple. So let's do this. So first up, you want to install module PS DuckDB. It's up on the gallery. Pulls down everything you need and you're ready to go. There's three ways to use it. At the end, I'll show you a, a, a link to a video uh, that I did on a deep dive on PS DuckDB. So you can see the three different ways. Today, we're just going to see how to use it like an ADO.NET interface. And we can bring up, here's the customer's CSV file. And here is the order CSV file. Okay, and let's split the screens on that. And here is customer, so you can see there's a customer ID here, and in the orders, you can see the customer ID as well. And we want to bring these two together to uh, better make reports out of it in one shot, um, have the data all in one in one place. Now you may not have customers and orders, but you may have your own data that's in separate uh, files with a potential feel that you can combine them on. Now, if you're used to SQL, it's really simple. You can do a select from the two different tables, and then you can do a join on uh, a customer ID from one file and customer ID from the second file. Here, you can see I'm doing a select star, but now I'm saying from PS script root where this particular file is running, I want to go into the orders directory and grab the customer CSV. So DuckDB out of the box can read CSV files no problem. It's what it's one of the reasons it was uh, built to do what it does. I'm uh, giving it an alias, I'm calling it C for customers, and then I'm saying join, and I'm saying go grab the order CSV, and I'm going to name or alias that to O. And then I'm with the join, I'm saying on c.customerid and o.customerid. So let's run this, check it out. And there we have it. So here on the left hand side, you can see down on the bottom, uh, up until country here, I have to the left is the customer information. And on the right, I have the order information. And the join has joined this data correctly. Um, it's that simple. No extra PowerShell, no fuss, no muss. You can, again, install PS DuckDB, and this will work for you out of the box. But wait, there's some more stuff to take a look at. Now, how many times have you seen data that is JSON related that you want to do the same thing? So let's open up customers JSON, and we're going to open up orders JSON. So it's exactly the same as the other one for this simple demos I'm doing. Um, but we have our customer file, right? And here's our orders file. They're both JSON formats, and I want to join them. Well, let's see how easy that is. Let's pop over to our join. It's exactly the same. And again, DuckDB can read a JSON file straight away. Right? You don't have to say you don't have to name a table in the from and the join. You can name files, and that's what I'm doing here. So here's the customer JSON again, alias the C. Here's the orders JSON, uh, alias this O. We run that up, it's going to look exactly the same. But we, in fact, read a, two JSON files, and now we have them as PowerShell objects ready to go. That's based on the integration that I did of integrating DuckDB into PowerShell. And as a final piece, well, let's do this. What if you have data, sometimes it comes in in uh, part of it's one file CSV, the other one's orders. Uh, you got to do a lot of conversions, a lot of work to get that to happen. So here I'm doing exactly the same select, right? First one though, I'm going to grab the CSV cust customers uh, data. And then on the second one, I'm going to grab the orders that's in JSON format. And because DuckDB knows how to read both and normalize it into its own in memory, in memory database, I can run that and now I've uh, joined a CSV file and a JSON file on, an ID, on a column name, and I get the output that I want. So, DuckDB is really cool. PowerShell integration with DuckDB is super cool. 
uh, if you want you can see I did a live stream about an hour deep dive where PowerShell meets DuckDB. You can integrate query and analyze data seamlessly. I'll drop this uh, ID into uh, this URL into uh, the YouTube description. And if you want to check it out, if you like what you see, thumbs up, don't get and subscribe, and uh, see you later. Thanks for watching.